It's your girl, Ava Day, and I'm here with Gossip Flow Television. I'm here with Pastor Polo, y'all. Polo from the top to the bottom. I'm just saying, this man of God, this is your church, right? Yes, ma'am. This is his church. I mean, he went in. It's and, God's church. It's God's church. He went in and there. You can tell that he studied he knows his word. That's always a plus because some people are just talking, but they don't have anything behind them. And see, we saw that in you. So I want you to tell me a little bit about your ministry and how you got started, how you knew you were called. Uh... Well, I, I want to say that I, I knew I was called at a young age. I didn't accept the call to um, uh, age 18. And uh, I got to be honest, I didn't totally accept the call. I wanted a half of God, not all of God. I wanted the, you know, the, uh, the, the, the salvation part, but I didn't want to be Lord. So uh, I would say um, I, I became a youth pastor um, at the age of 20. And I uh, was youth pastor for 14 years. Uh, 15 years actually, and then uh, God uh, elevated me and moved me into a senior pastor position, the Phyllis Nation Christian Center, Amen, amen. And is this your home church? This is your pastor? This is my, this is my niece, my baby with vicious, my baby with vicious. So when she came to you and she was like, huh, you know, I want to do this, right. you know, what'd you think about it? Uh, how, how did you feel? I mean, what did you feel at that moment? But, you know, the, the honest truth is, is that I've been where she is before, where um, the, the situations where you have great dreams, great aspirations, and no one to push you to destiny. And that's where the church is lacking uh, in so many ways. We become so political, so financial driven, so, you know, uh, uh, status driven that we don't look uh, to those who are coming up and pull them up and let them know that, watch this, that, that not only uh, the kingdom has you, but I'm a part of the kingdom, so I have your vision too. Man, amen. So how did you feel about the event on tonight? Off the chain. Off, off bananas, that's my word. It was bananas. Banana split. It was bananas. No, it didn't split, but it was bananas. Yeah, it split. Yeah, it split. We was running tonight everything. Yeah, I saw y'all running track and stuff and, <laughs> and shouting and screaming. And we went in. Worship was off the chain. It was. You know what? I appreciate this man of God because he knows how to have fun yes, and not have to be all, y'all know those preachers. Some preachers, they uptight and we can't even say hi wow. so i appreciate that because wow. we don't get that all the time so i appreciate you man of god and you, 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 you heard it first I here on gospel post television Listen, it, 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 i want to let y'all know that uh that this thing is going international uh what you see right now is just a glimpse of god's glory i wish i had somebody in the background that scream real loud they girls like they know you up in here Thank you so much. I enjoyed you too. You and your husband are awesome and dynamic. Thank you. If y'all need anything, holler at us. We got you. Thank you. Gospel flow. Gospel flow. There you go. There you go.